keep drinking, Monty, for Christ's sake. And I wish I could explain to you, mate. I think they know already, Scotty. Dave, you're moving out too. Everybody is. Something really big this time. Uh, Beersheba. Taz found out. What'll the regiment be doing? What we're told. <laughs> good luck, Scotty. Oh, I never have to wish an Irishman good luck. Comes natural. Good luck yourself. We'll have a beer when we get back. What are you doing, Tess? It's just a letter. A letter? To my wife, you know. Cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I haven't written for some time. <sighs> A man can write a bloody letter, can't he? Of course. Yeah. Any word what we'll be doing? We'll be in bloody reserve, don't you know? Hey, Nobby! Nobby! I want to post this letter. What the bloody hell can I do about it? Put you on the pastel orderly. Look, Tess, just shove it in your kit until the stunt's over, okay? I'll take a test. Good on you, Chilla. Thanks, mate. This will be a silent march. No talking once we're moving. Saddle up. Hey, they haven't had any water yet. We can't wait, Scotty. Artillery's right on time. Well, I just hope they don't hit the wells. We'll move to cover in the wadi down there. How many cavalry? Are you 
certain of that. All right, keep me advised. There is at least a division of cavalry on the eastern flank, as well as a large infantry force to the south. Your men have been deceived, Colonel. A clever illusion. Men and horses in constant movement, making dust. They're nothing more than large patrols. The main attack will fall in Gaza, and we must not be tricked into thinking otherwise. Sergeant Major? Yes, sir. Men can smoke. Off saddle for 20 minutes. Then remain in readiness for immediate movement. The infantry are gaining control of the southern front, sir. Yes, they've done well. Tell El Saba. It's been a defensive position for tens of thousands of years. Now we have to take it in one day, across an open plain. There go the New Zealanders, sir. Give me the images for that. Wait till they dismount, then fire by order. Another message from von Kressenstein, sir. Refusing reinforcements or permission to evacuate. And insisting that only two brigades of cavalry are involved in the attack. <laughs> ah, they bought it. They bought it. Well done, Miner. Well, now it's up to Shiva. Anzacs are taking a hell of a pace to oh, I reckon I'd rather be shot at than just grilling this bloody wadi. Go easy on the snake and chiller. It dries you out too much. Where are we going to go for water, Tess? Be a Sheba, mate. Well, I thought he'd want to be pretty bloody thirsty, eh? <laughs> Wouldn't you, eh? Uh, <laughs> pretty thirsty. <laughs> you still got a feeling about this one? I don't know. Oh, I got a feeling. It's taking too long. Too bloody slow. How long would it take us to get the water? Enough for the whole corps? About 12 hours. It's nearly two days since the horse has got a drink. Same boat now. Yeah. Up shit creek without a paddle. Less than two hours to sunset. I want to see General Hodgson and his commanding officers. So. Colonel! No! Well, Captain. Aerial reconnaissance confirms. We are under attack by two to three divisions of cavalry and an infantry corps. 50,000 men. And I am holding Beersheba with 4,000. While our respected General von Kressenstein sits in Gaza denying me reinforcements. Yes! The enemy has taken Tel El Saba, sir. So... All remaining reserves to the eastern trenches. Order divisional engineers to destroy the wells and water storages. With respect, Colonel. That is against the orders of General von Kressenstein. 
That is true, Captain. A general who still believes we are being attacked by patrols. Right. The wells are the responsibility of your esteemed countrymen. And you. As you are well aware, our advance on Bathsheba has been seriously delayed. Fortifications of unknown strength still face us across a plain of some three miles. And the sun sets in one hour. By which time, some of our horses will have been without water for 48 hours. Unless we take the wells of Bathsheba intact, we not only face defeat, but a military disaster. What are your views? Sir. Yes, Grant. I believe my brigade could take the town if given a free hand. I must know what you propose. To make a mounted charge against the eastern defences, sir. I have two regiments, the 4th and 12th, close at hand. General Chevelle, if there's to be a charge, then surely it must be made by my cavalry, who are armed with swords. Brigadier Grant's men are mounted infantry. They are, Fitzgerald. We're constantly reminded of that fact. Watson. 60,000 men have failed to take this town in 12 hours. How can 800 horsemen possibly succeed in less than one hour? You don't believe they can do it? No one has ever attempted a cavalry charge against entrenched infantry supported by machine guns and artillery. It's unheard of, sir. Do you see any alternative in the time available? Well, no, sir, but Very I... well. Put Grant straight at it. Bond, I want you to command the reserve squadrons and bring up our machine guns in support. Bill. You'll lead both regiments at the charge. Yes, sir. We'll find an area to form up the charge with an approach route under cover. Sunset. There's Grant, sir. The charge can form up in dead ground behind that ridge. Sir?
Sir Harry? I must reiterate my opposition to this maneuver. You have.